Your vehicle may be equipped with the convenience of our Home Link system. Home Link replaces up to three remote controls or handheld transmitters that operate devices such as garage door openers, motorized gates, lighting, or home security systems. The Home Link control buttons are located in the overhead console. If you haven't programmed any of the Home Link buttons yet, be sure to erase all channels before you begin. To do this, Press and hold the two outside buttons for up to 20 seconds until channels cleared is displayed in the Electronic Vehicle Information Center, or EVIC. For more efficient training and accurate transmission of the radio frequency signal, it is recommended that a new battery be placed in the handheld transmitter of the device being programmed to HomeLink. The HomeLink unit is powered by your vehicle's battery and does not require battery replacement. When programming the HomeLink system, your vehicle should be parked outside of the garage. To begin programming, turn the ignition switch to the on run position and hold the battery side of your handheld transmitter away from the home link button you wish to program. Place the handheld transmitter 1 to 3 inches or 3 to 8 centimeters away from the home link button while keeping the EVIC in view. Now, simultaneously press and hold both the chosen home link button and the handheld transmitter button until the EVIC display changes from channel training to channel train. Release both the home link and the handheld transmitter buttons. When the display changes, it is programmed. It may take up to 30 seconds or longer in rare cases. The garage door may open and close during programming. To check your programming, press and hold the just programmed home link button. If the EVIC displays channel transmit, programming is complete and the garage door or device should activate when the home link button is pressed. On vehicles equipped with a security alarm, Home Link will be disabled if the alarm is active. A quick note though, if the garage door was manufactured after 1995, it may have a rolling code. If so, please refer to the Programming a Rolling Code System section of the Owner's Information DVD. Please refer to the Owner's Information DVD for complete details and other important safety information.